Hello YouTubers! Well today this is uh, my first motor blog of uh, 2020. So uh, this uh, motor blog of mine right now is um, kicking off um, you know the start of the uh, decade and uh, I just come here to the right to uh, do a little bit of uh, shopping for clothes and to uh, get a haircut so um, you know now I'm heading and um, I'm heading uh, north sorry I was just adjusting my mirror there and uh, yeah just gonna go on a little uh, trip for you guys I'm using the uh, GoPro 3 and um, I'm actually testing out a um, lavalier um, microphone uh, kit that I bought uh, a little while ago and I'm testing it for the first time so uh, I actually had a few uh, of these lavalier uh, type of uh, microphone kits and um, one I lost riding my bike actually uh, doing a uh, blog YouTube video for you guys uh, on the Hubbard Bridge it just fell off and as I was riding my uh, mountain bike the uh, chain just cut it to pieces anyway I've had a few mishaps with others that came loose and whatnot anyway I just want to wish you all guys a happy new year a uh, happy 2020 and uh, you know let's get cranking to uh, motor blogging again you know now I actually rode the uh, super wing uh, yesterday on a little bike ride I didn't want to film anything I just wanted to uh, you know I haven't ridden the bike in a while in a few weeks um, so you know I just wanted to ride again and uh, you know but anyway uh, I'm back blogging again for you guys and uh, you know now uh, you guys might have seen on the news that uh, Australia is actually on fire well um, there's actually three states that have a lot of bushfires now a large part of Australia is actually uh, a desert but then in the uh, coastal areas like uh, in the eastern uh, side of Australia where you got the uh, Pacific Ocean and then on the western side where you got the Indian Ocean uh, we are having on the east coast especially in Sydney and uh, down south we're having a few bushfires because we got a lot of uh, national parks and bush as well and uh, because we've been in dry conditions uh, for a while now for a few months um, it actually hasn't rained in Sydney uh, we haven't had good rain for like two months I will say and if it did rain it didn't rain for too long so we are in dry conditions officially anyway according to the um, Bureau of Meteorology so <coughs> pardon me there so we are in desperate need for rain now the Bureau of Meteorology is saying that uh, rain is going to come next month in uh, February and I can tell you that uh, everyone is really desperate for rain so uh, you know how it is uh, apparently um, the state of New South Wales in which Sydney is located and Victoria which is the uh, southern state are actually on a um, state uh, emergency uh, levels if you like because of the drought and all the bushfires you know we lost a lot of wildlife a lot of uh, koalas you know uh, we are actually running low on koalas uh, the population uh, isn't that great and uh, you know it's sad to see and uh, you know a lot of we lost a lot of uh, you know uh, wildlife and uh, a lot of trees and things like that and uh, sadly uh, a lot of people have died and uh, thousands of homes uh, have been destroyed because of the uh, bushfires so uh, <clears throat> you know it really is a shame uh, but uh, you know um, everyone is praying for those people and uh, also for these bushfires to stop and also for rain you know uh, the main thing is that um, we get rain so that uh, you can actually uh, you know put away all these fires and uh, get the veg vegetation going again and uh, you know and things like that so as you can see um, it's a little bit hazy today because of the, uh, the smoke and the uh, bushfires in Sydney 
and it's actually uh, quite warm what we are in summer it's 28 degrees today or you know a good 90 Fahrenheit something like that so you know anyway guys it's actually really good to get back on the bike and uh, you know I really miss doing um, monoblocks on the bike now I think quite a few uh, Christmas um, you know blogs if you like uh, mainly because uh, you know we were in that period you know the new year and the uh, Christmas so I just did a few uh, blogs here and there um, after I did my last uh, Christmas um, blog I promised that I wasn't going to actually do any more blogs but um, the thing was that um, because um, you know I just had a little bit of material and a few ideas uh, happening I thought oh, well you know what the heck I might have to break my promise and uh, just do uh, yeah, a few uh, blogs but anyway I'm sure that you guys don't mind and uh, you know sorry to be a bit of a chatterbox uh, I'm actually um, talking a little bit because um, you know I really want to test this new uh, lavalier um, you know microphone kit that I bought for my GoPro 3 now I do have uh, actually uh, two GoPro 3s a GoPro 3 and a GoPro 3 plus so you know I'm happy with that now next month I'm gonna be in the market for a uh, second hand uh, but in good condition uh, GoPro um, 7 um, either a silver or a black edition I don't want to buy them brand new <coughs> because I know that you're gonna get a good camera if you buy second hand and you will save yourself money anyway so um, you know I got a GoPro 1 and two uh, GoPro 3 set up second hand and uh, they are actually very good quality so you know I got no issues with them the only GoPro that I bought brand new was the uh, GoPro uh, white edition so you know anyway people are on holidays at the moment <coughs> and uh, you know um, it's just nice to uh, cruise along and uh, you know feel free you know that feeling when you know you're on holidays and uh, you know you just feel relaxed and no pressure and you know nothing bothers you and yeah you know I'm actually feeling like that right now now I've done a video of uh, coming here recently um, I actually did this little way that I'm doing now and uh, so you know Anyway, I have to say to you guys that I actually haven't filmed all of Sydney in uh, all my travels. Uh, the main areas that I uh, filmed on my um, channel uh, has been um, the uh, Mali the North, uh, northeast of Sydney, all the beaches, uh, the southern parts of Sydney, you know, the southern beaches, and uh, a little bit of the um, of the uh, um, east, we you know with the beaches as well. But I haven't done anything uh, to do with the uh, west, with the, with the west of Sydney. In other words, that direction. So uh, I'm gonna endeavour to do a lot of videos. You now the west has a lot of uh, good things to show, and uh, you know I'm looking forward to uh, getting out uh, in the next few weeks and uh, filming the west of Sydney and put it uh, put it up on my uh, YouTube channel. Now, um, I have to explain to you later on, um, you know, how uh, I edit my videos and uh, why I edit them the way I do. Mainly, um, as you all know, all my videos have beautiful scenery, uh, but I have had a few technical issues with my uh, sound. Now, that's mainly because um, I haven't had cables uh, for the uh, GoPro. I haven't had any... Uh, you know microphone cable kits because as I said before I kind of like lost them along the way uh, riding they just came loose and whatnot and uh, you know so I actually has been speaking um, you know to the GoPros with no uh, microphone kit so anyway I bought one recently for the uh, GoPro 7 um, and it cost me a lot of money and um, but the uh, microphone that I got for some reason is not working properly so uh, I'm gonna see if I can buy a more powerful microphone you know 
uh, something that uh, has a high uh, decibel uh, writing, you know. Uh, and, you know, things that I've been buying um, were actually saying that they were really good and everything, but, you know, when you actually tested them out, they weren't that great. So, you know, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I have to say that I don't really care anymore about the uh, sound quality. You know, if my sound is not that great, then I just put uh, music on top and be done with it. And, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I do make up for that because I'm, um, you know, I do have a uh, beautiful scenery. So uh, people are mainly interested in the content, you know, in the scenery and what you got to show. Uh, now, because I'm uh, more a blogger that does mainly rides, uh, I can probably get away with it, uh, you know, maybe uh, more so than other people. Now, that's mainly because, uh, you know, my scenery is beautiful. If you look at my videos, they're all beautiful. Uh, it's only the um, you know technical uh, sound uh, quality that's let me down, and uh, a few songs. Now um, I do have access to the uh, YouTube library, but I explained in, in a video before uh, the reasons why I don't use the YouTube library because for me it's like having to process the video uh, twice. I use uh, Hewlett Packard. Um, pavilion that I got and I actually used its own uh, video um, editing software and it's in its software it only has about 30 songs and in those 30 songs only about 10 are really good that's why I kind of like use them all the time and recycle them all the time now the reason that I'm going to the YouTube library is because my Hewlett Packard uh, editing software doesn't have a seamless connection to YouTube or it doesn't have that YouTube uh, icon so at first I have to save it and process the video in my Hewlett Packard in house um, you know, uh, editing software. And then once I save it and process and things like that, I have to bring it up into my uh, YouTube portal and then uh, find some music again in the uh, YouTube library and uh, reprocess that and save it and whatnot. And it's kind of like double handling. So, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time mucking around you know, uh, doing things twice. And then after that, then you got to find music on uh, YouTube. So, um, one of the things that I really hate, to be honest, one of my pet hides is actually finding music that is appropriate for my um, videos. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, it actually takes a lot longer to find good music uh, for your video than it does to actually edit and, uh, you know, process a video. I mean, I can edit my video, you know, blindfolded on my Hewlett Packard. It's just so easy. Click and paste, cut here, add here, find a little, a few little uh, graphics here and there. And, uh, you know, I can do it blindfolded and most of you can as well because it's very easy. Uh, the trouble is um, not so much editing the video, it's actually finding the uh, right music. And the other thing too is actually having a really fast internet connection to actually, um, you know, upload your video to YouTube after. And I've got um, broadband cable, so it's ultra fast. So you guys are probably wondering, how the hell do I process my video so fast? It's actually because um, i got really fast internet. All right, guys, I've got to go.